Hi, I'm Mike from Michael's Motor Cars, located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and we buy a lot of interesting cars, and every now and then we run across something that is just outside of our wheelhouse, but interesting enough that we want to do it and buy the car, and this is certainly one of those cars. Come on over and take a look at it. I want to predicate everything I'm going to say that I am not a hot rod expert by any means. Most of my experience is European cars, pre-war and post-war, but I've always been uh, sort of fascinated by these cars. So when this one came up, and when we realized what it really is, uh, we really were excited at the opportunity to purchase this car and now represent it and sell it on Bring a Trailer. The car is a 1932 Ford. It is titled as such, so we have a clear Pennsylvania title as a 1932 Ford convertible. The originality is unbelievable on the car. Uh, the quick story on the car, and this is going to be one of our longer videos, there's so much information on this car. The car was born as a 1932 Ford five-window coupe. It was uh, lived a life, uh, 32 to about the mid-50s. In the mid-50s, it was purchased and in Red Lion, Pennsylvania, which is close to us here in Lancaster, it was converted into a C-class dragster. We have no photos of that, so we are assuming it was still a coupe, because that would have been stronger. Uh, it was converted as a C-class dragster, and we think driven at Route 30, US 30 Dragway, which is also close to us in York. We do know, though, our story picks up in 1958, when a fellow in New Jersey, very close to the county line, purchased the car and restored it or turned it into a true hot rod, which is what it is today. He gave it to his son as a graduation present for college. The son used the car, had fun with it from 1958 to 1962, as you see it. It was then put into long-term storage in a uh, creamery in their local town. And then it was found, purchased 50 years later, and it was restored by a well-known hot rod restorer up in Canada. We purchased it from the Canadian restorer about a month or so ago. If we start at the front of the car, and we brought in a local hot rod builder and expert and historian to go over the car for us. Again, I'm not proficient in these cars, so what I'm commenting on now is what the hot rod restorer mentioned. It's a 32 frame rails. All of the frame is original and correct. It has the original stamping on the left top of the frame rail, which coincides, of course, with the title. We have every reason to believe it's the original body to the car. This is an original steel-bodied car. This is an original 1932 grill, 1932 surround, 1932 front axle. This is the thicker front axle, which was common. Still has its original shock mounts, which were modified to put vertical shocks in. The brakes, which are now hydraulic, I'll use my cheat sheet. The brakes and spindles are from 42 to 48 Ford, modified to fit this. These are original headlight stands. They're period correct. They are not repros. The headlight stands are from the 50s, and they're original. These are older turn signal lenses, also probably aftermarket from the 50s. Going around the side of the car, it does have an original 1932 steering box. The steering mechanism was modified to accept the box where it is now and to work with the hydraulic brakes. The engine itself is a 1953 Mercury. It was rebuilt in the restoration process. It is bored 30 over. It appears to have a stock camshaft, two-barrel period correct carburetor. The engine runs beautifully. Uh, you'll see in the driving video and the startup video, very smooth, very quiet, powerful. This is an original master cylinder with the running all the hydraulics here. Going along, when the fellow restored the car, he took great pains to keep the originality. There, this is an original 1932 windshield frame. It would have had a top piece. He chose to re-chrome the original. So there are pits in the chroming, but he chose the patina over putting new parts on this car. There are virtually no new parts on this car. He was a very sympathetic to restoring the car back to the 1958 period. These would have been custom made. So these were custom made windshield supports. Again, they're old, but they were refinished. When it was turned into a race car, the doors were welded shut, which is very typical. 
you can see underneath the car, you can see the original doors are still there, but it's all been welded into one structure, along with the trunk deck lid has been welded shut. We do know in the instrument cluster, which you can see here, this is a 1932 Ford instrument cluster. It's an original 32 Ford speedometer. The amps and the oil pressure are period correct gauges, although they are not 1932 Ford, but they are old from the 30s, 40s, or 50s gauges. There's a Stuart Warner water temperature gauge over here. Turn signal mechanism is from the 50s. Steering wheel is from the mid 50s. The seats are from an Austin Healey, an early Austin Healey, and they're very cool. The seat belts are very cool, very period correct. They're from an airplane, Air Products Incorporated. They do work, they're in excellent condition, and they also are period correct. The only deviation, there were two things the restorer did where he deviated from the car that he picked up, and I'll show them to you. The one is that the original leather in the car, and this, this is vinyl, but this is now leather. The spacing between the piping was larger. So when he had the interior done, he chose to do tighter spacing. So that has all been done beautifully. This is all, to the best of my knowledge, it looks and feels and crinkles like leather. Beautifully done upholstery. The second thing he did was he modified the roll bar slightly. He strengthened it in the structure, and I believe he changed the height a little bit. So it really is, a, is an effective roll bar. As you go along the rear of the car, again, this is all welded shut now. These are 41, I believe they're Chevy taillights. This is an original and correct, period correct license plate light. It has been re -chromed. It's a Yankee 33 one. It is original, it's not a repo. This is original. The exhausts, he chose to re-chrome the original ones. Here's an interesting point on the rear brakes right here. He did put rear hydraulic brakes on, of course. It's an original 1932 Ford rear axle. It's an early one. It's narrow. We have the original knee action shock absorber mount that would have been here. Original leaf springs, front and rear, and mounting bolts. Down here, which was typical for racing, they welded on this U-bolt so that if the axle would snap, this would capture the drum so it wouldn't go flying off. So that would have been a racing modification. Please take your time and look carefully what's interesting about this car for a hot rod. It's as beautiful underneath as it is on top. You will see from the photos, new wood was installed, uh, new stainless was uh, installed, aluminum in the floors underneath. We have extensive photos of the restoration process. And you can see this clearly was a 100 point frame off restoration with a huge eye towards what the car was in 1958. I failed to mention it also has a three speed Lincoln V12 transmission. That was a very typical thing to do. So for 1958, this was a very typical thing to use this mode, flathead motor, the three speed Lincoln with the original Ford rear. The car does run and drive. Uh, it actually drives quite nicely. It goes down the road very well. The brakes are adequate. The power is nice and smooth. Uh, so if you're looking for a car, we also do have the hood for the car. We personally prefer showing it with the hood off. Um, this is a unique piece of American history. We have all documented photos. We have a photo of the son when he got the car in 1958. It's a local car having been in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. It has been faithfully restored, incredibly faithfully, back to 1958 period. So here it is again, resurrected with all original parts. Steel body, of course, and just a phenomenal chance to own a clean canvas to do whatever you'd want to do with this car. Everything's documented, beautiful car. Please contact with any questions. I'm certainly open to commenting on all my comments. Again, I'm not a hot rod expert. I'm going on what I've learned about the car. Uh, and uh, the overall authenticity of the car is just phenomenal. So this will be a fun bring a trailer auction. Because of the numbers on the frame and the clear titling, this car would be easy to export anywhere. 
Uh, so it can go overseas, it can go to Canada, it can go anywhere in the States. We hope it finds a wonderful home. So good luck on the bidding, and this will be a fun one. Thanks.